Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft. Today we're going to be finishing up these quests in the northern parts of Rathi Highlands and then we're going to be taking a look at Stromgard Keep. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do is the Northfold Manor. We're going to clear some syndicate mercenaries out from the farmlands there. I've been uh, messing around with the vanilla server and the vanilla Let's Play thing and testing stuff out. And I'm having a few issues with frame rate at the moment, um, but it shouldn't take me too long to get those sorted out. And when they have been sorted out, we're going to start our uh, vanilla Let's Play uh, in a couple of weeks. So that should be pretty cool. Also, uh, we're coming up on August, and that is the proposed time for Wildstar to be made free to play. I'm pretty sure it's around August. Um, and that's when our Wildstar Let's Play is going to be starting as well. So it's going to be quite a busy couple of months. Right, we're almost at Northfold Manor. There's the wall that takes us into the Hillsbred foothills. Okay, so we've got to kill ten of these guys, basically. Oh! Tried to get the jump on me, but luckily he doesn't realise how good a rogue I am. Right, let's see. We're just killing them, so it shouldn't take too long. Have a look around whilst we're here, though, see if anyone's in here. Yeah, take that. We're pretty good right now, so I'm not sure if we're going to have that much of a challenge, to be honest. Syndicate Dit Path Stalker. Take you down. Whoa, there are two of them there. Let's take him out. I wonder if there's any rare mobs around here. I'll have a look, I'll have a look in all these buildings to see if there are any rare mobs. Right, you next. No one in this one? Okay, what about this building? There are two of them in here, but no rare mob with the rest of it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so that's them taking care of. It doesn't look like there's any rare mobs around here. So we're just going to move straight on to the next quest, the Burning Key. We've been collecting these elemental keys around the land, and this is the last one. I been, keep forgetting to put poison on. Sorry. Yeah, um, the last key is just up here, which is going to fight through another bunch of elementals that are going to be quite tough to fight. When we've done that, we'll see where the quest takes us. We might end up doing that one first. I'm pretty sure the quest takes us somewhere near Stromgard anyway. Well, let's deal with these guys. Oh, the chest. Let's see what treasure we're going to get. We can actually use those. Nice. Feet of the Lynx. Seven agility and five stamina. That's actually some pretty good gear for us. Take this guy out as well. Okay. That's the last key, and now we're heading yet down to Stromgard, so heading to that area. The last thing we're going to do in the Rathi Highlands is the pirate quests. Which are in a special cove down here where that little question mark right at the bottom is. Now, as you can see here, the wall used to be able to keep um, the Alliance land safe, but the Forsaken, due to their massive invasion, have started to set up camps around this side of the wall, which is very dangerous for us, especially considering that Stromgard is currently not completely under our control, which is a very dangerous situation to be in, because that's the only fort that's stopping anyone from just walking straight through here to the Thandal Span and into the wetlands, which is right into the heart of Dwarf territory. We're starting, we've left Dwarf Territory now, if you haven't noticed. We're definitely back in human territory again. The humans have the Arathi Highlands. The dwarves appear, appear again in the Hinterlands, which is where we're heading next. Uh, and then from there, we're going to the Plaguelands, I think. And then that's our story. 
And then we go to the Western Plague Lands. And then we go into the Eastern Plague Lands. And then that ends our story at about level 50, I reckon we will. And then we'll be heading off to other places using the adventure guide so we can find some places to go to. There are a lot of places we can go to, though. Right, we're not heading to there just yet, Jack. Come on, focus. We're heading down there to so that. Um, so I saw a Let's Play series from this guy who was doing a vanilla Let's Play um, of World of Warcraft. He's on part 59, he's only just got to level 40, and we're on part 18, and we're at level 31. So I can tell this uh, vanilla one we're going to be doing is going to be quite in-depth and quite difficult to do, but I'm really looking forward to doing that one, because I haven't played that sort of gameplay in a while. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We've got some roaming earth elementals, rumbling exiles. We're going to have to fight a couple of them to get through. Just take out some of the mobs around the quest giver. And then we can read the text. Okay. This is the stone of inner binding. It is the strongest of the binding stones and must be unlocked for the others to open. M Hiya, Mizrael speaks through the stone. You have done it! You opened the stones of binding! I can feel the shackles about me loosen and freedom draws ever closer. You are a noble rogue, Sunpo, my rescuer. Aha! This is the guy we saw earlier, Fosruk. Opening the stones of binding loosened much of my confinement, but a lock still holds me chained. It is the keystone you see among the cycle of stones, and the key is held by one of my captors, the stone watcher, Fosruk. You must obtain that key, which the stone watchers call the Rod of Order, from Fosruk and use it to open the keystone. Sunpo, you have done so much to aid me. Just a little more, and my gratitude will shake the very foundations of the earth. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if this is my past memories of this quest. Oh, there's a shale spider there. Oh, a glint! Sweet. We'll take him down. I'm pretty sure you can tame him as well. That'd be a cool pet for a hunter to have. Especially around this level as well. Give us something good, come on. Not enough energies. Inventory is hmm. Not Let's see if that's got anything on ours. No, we'd lose two stamina and four critical chance. Um, but the, this quest is giving you sort of a negative... This has been like us trying to save someone who's clearly a captive uh, prisoner. Um, but this last quest in particular, Fosruk. Now, when we went fast to Fosruk before, he was very big and quite intimidating. And I said I wanted to kill him at some point. But in hindsight, he's a non-aggressive mob. He's completely docile. He doesn't attack any players that run past him. And we're being asked to kill him. Now, my, my question is, and this is what's put me on this train of thought, is does that mean that he's not actually a villain? And he's holding it for good reason. What is going on here? What? Whoops. Uh, what is going on here? Holy shit. Those are guards from Undersea. Is that Sylvanas? No, Dark Ranger Anya. Okay, well, we'll try and cycle past them really quickly and just see if we can get past. Oh my god. And they're following a high bank marine who's taking like no damage from them. Wow, okay. That is very, very weird. And they're being led there by an undead warrior. Okay, that, that's just really weird. Anyway, back to the thing I was saying. Fosruk is non -do is docile, so why would we need to kill him? I'm not sure if this is going to be the way it's going to go, and Mizrael may not be exactly who we think she is, but let's take this guy down anyway, because we're just blind adventurers right now. And then we'll see if we this quest goes in a little bit more of a different direction to what we were thinking originally. There's Fosruk. It's a cool name as well, Fosruk. What the fight? Luckily, our speed is taking out, taking him out. There you go. That's him taking care. We didn't say anything. So maybe I'm just being paranoid. But let's go check yourself out, shall we?
I know Blizzard tor storytelling and it isn't always just that simple. But let's see, shall we? Back to the circle of inner binding. Ow. Now that corpse of another giant is really not boding well for us. Uh, well, must be another player that's come through. It is too far away. All right, let's do this. So the quest says the keystone is charged with tremendous geomatic energy. You place the rod in the keystone, and a shudder is felt beneath you. Stop, foolish rogue, we cannot let you summon the creature in Misrael. Oh boy, that's not good. I knew it, I thought there was something going on here. Not enough energy. I do not have enough energy. I think we've got him though. Sorry buddy. As the stone goes quiet, you're left with a vague sense of unease. Something isn't right. Perhaps you should tell Squirto of what you've done so far. Yeah, that dwarf's not going to be very impressed, is he? So, we've now had a giant burst out of the ground near us and say, Stop, foolish rogue. We cannot let you summon the creature Misrael. The creature. I originally told she was a princess of the earth. That's quite interesting. And now that we've rescued her, you would have thought she said it was to give us rewards and, you know, that we'd be awesome and stuff. And she's gone silent. There's no response from her. So, we're going to go back to Squirto, who's a dwarf in uh, the refuge point, the Alliance town. And we're going to see just what is going on, because something definitely is not right. We can also turn in the uh, Northfold Manor quest also there. Oh, there's a human mage. Claude Lefort, apparently. There's the path to the Hinterlands. We'll be taking that eventually, going into that, those mountains. Heading to see some dwarfs again, our old favourites. Now, Rathi Highlands, we were meant to be going from 25 to 30, and we were already level 30 when we got here, but we've only gone up one level, uh, which is indicative of our lack of heirlooms, as well as the fact that we're sort of slowing down a bit, which is good. I'm glad that the story is pacing itself a bit more now. Okay, let's see what's going on here, shall we? I have a feeling the Dolphins are going to be very happy with us. We'll turn in the Northfold Manor quest first. Hello. Need help? Very good, Sunpo. The last thing we need with the undead looming is a gang of common thieves attracting us. Damn straight. Aha, another Stromgard quest. And we get some... Uh, we're going to get some gloves from this. The Syndicate and Stromgard do battle with our contingent of militia there. In order to urge this rabble to fight our more disciplined troops, the Syndicate leaders have placed a bounty on our soldiers, awarding gold for each Stromgard badge gathered off killed militiamen. We want those badges retrieved. We cannot allow the cutthroats to take the profits from our brave fallen. Enter the syndicate controlled area of the Dromgar of Stromgard and hunt down them, their badges. Okay. Be careful. You got my attention. Say no more, Sanpo. I followed up with an old friend while you were gone. I should have known better than to send you to those shards. We've both made a grave mistake in involving ourselves in this. Luckily, I persuaded my boy Gary to tell me what to do if this happened. Off with you. Okay. Oh my god. Misrael's no innocent princess. She's a terribly dangerous force, and the giants had every reason to chain her down there. I'm afraid you've been had. According to Gerig, you have to summon her at the Shards of Misrael where you first spoke with her. Defeat her and gather her eldritch, eldritch shackles, then bind them to the Shards. Here's the scroll you'll need. Be careful with it. I rest a few teeth to get it. Good luck, Sunpo. Now we'll get a wrap, a cloak from that. And it will give us a lot. It'll give, it'll give us a lot. But it is for... What's on your mind? What's two your players. Mind? That shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see how we do. Let's just sell all this junk. Whoop, not the leather. Not the cloth. We're going to sell that eventually when we get back to town. Eventually. Okay. We're going to do that. We'll do Stromgard in another episode. What we'll do is we'll finish off this Misrael storyline. We'll go to the pirates and then we'll dedicate an episode to Stromgard. That'll be pretty fun. Because that force is just a really cool place to be around. 
Alright, so off we go. I said it before, this is a pretty dank and miserable farmland, isn't it? Okay, Mizrael. You've tricked us, and I'm not a big fan of being tricked. I've been tricked by the Dark and the Irons far too many times to really enjoy it anymore. Right. Let's try and avoid those raptors. We did a terrible job, so we can take them down. We can just run the rest of the way. And I'm quite nervous. This, this might actually not end up going too well because we need two people for this, but we'll try our best. We're going to. Burst them down. Sunpo, you served me well, but why have you summoned me so soon? I haven't yet reached my full power. You are a fool to help me. Oh boy. Oh, she's an elite. Brilliant. Okay, right. Swipe. Slice and. Oh, Jesus. This went in well. Okay. So we want slice and dice up. We're going to take it down in a sec, but we do want to. Oh my god, what? We want to We want to be taking these guys down one at a time. Uh, we'll stun one of them once we're kitten them. Luckily, they all die pretty quickly. Whew! That was terrifying. The shards of Mizrael are now strangely quiet. As the eldritch shackles are placed around the shards, an inhuman wail is heard from far below. The scream is followed by a roar. The shards of Mizrael no longer invoke feelings of warmth and security as they once did. Now they pulse with an open menace, as if something, as if the thing beneath them holds ill will towards the surface. Level 32. Now that is very weird. So we've sorted out Mizrael. We've dealt with some trolls. Uh, we've done some stuff here, the Goshek farm, with some orcs that have invaded the area. Um, we've now finished off Refuge Point by helping them with the Syndicate there, and now we have two things left to do. We're going to go find Sheikhs O'Breen at Faldir's Cove in the Arathi Highlands, and then next episode we're going to go into Stromgard Keep and deal with some bounties, retrieve some badges, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be finding some uh, ancient artifacts. Try and avoid the myriad of oh, aggressive enemies. Didn't do too well, but we'll keep driving. I hope he just leaves me alone. Right, so let's read the tooltip for the pirates again. Let's just refresh our memories. You're alright, Sampo. It's not every day you come across a so called hero that has a clue what they're doing once they get this far from home, so I'll let you in on some more work. I have a friend by the name of Sheikh Sobreen. He's the captain of a crew of pirates, the Blackwater Raiders. Good men, respectable as pirates go. They dock at Feldir's Cove, hidden on the southern shore. I'm sure Obreen will have lucrative jobs for you if you're interested. So, what we basically got to do, try and do is find a cave entrance or a valley that will take us through to this cove where the pirates are hiding. Be on this mountain wall. I reckon it's down there, that little road. That that very obvious stone road that they've got carved out there. There's Stromgard Keep, where we'll be heading next episode. Our adventure guide's glowing again. Now it's saying that we can do Maradon as well. We need to get our dual um, specialization at some point. Right, let's follow this road. If only we get into Stromgard this way, we'd be right next to one of our quests. Yeah, we go. Look, there's a sign here. And a little pirate flag. Not very subtle, if you ask me, but there you go.
Okay, let's have a look. Oh, this is quite the ride. Uh, I can see on the mini map. There we go. Here are the pirates. I sort of shakes so Breen first. He's the guy we want to be talking to. You need something. Ahoy, rogue! Any friend of Squirto is a friend of mine. No, oh, is he Gil Nain? You'll find plenty of work he's doing around here. We're not sitting in this cove twiddling our thumbs by choice. Okay, so we'll talk to these guys who are giving us quests, I suppose. That mount is amazing. Oh my god, where's that from? Holy shit. Captain Steelgut. Ah, it is a horrible life. I should be in a watery grave right now. Oh. oh. Not sitting here by the fire, breathing fresh air. The crew tried so hard to save my beautiful maiden's folly. Bless the boys, bless their hearts. O'Breen made it to shore safely, but we weren't so lucky. The seas just sank on us, I swear. One second we're afloat and the next water is rushing in. And those beasts killed all the survivors. Horrible naga scum. I went black and ended up here, saved. I want those beasts dead. Captain Steelgut and Felder's Cove wants you to kill ten Daggerspine Raiders and three Daggerspine Sorceresses. And then we'll get a new piece of armor by the looks of it. Big bit. Can I help you? Okay, Professor Fizzlethorpe. Now that we are full-fledged Blackwater Raiders, it is our job to help Mr. O'Brien locate the Elven Treasure. Elven Treasure? It is next to impossible to find the gems in the Dark Sea without aid. The Doctor has constructed some goggles that will help. He needs the goggles charged with the energy derived from the enchanted stone in the cave just up the hill. But the cave is cursed. When we get close, we get ambushed. Defend me and I can harness the energy from the stones into the goggles. Alright. We'll escort him. Everyone loves escort quests. It's the second one we've done in one, uh, in one zone now. Hopefully the cave isn't too deep. I discovered this cave on our first day here. I believe the energy in the stone uh, can be used to our advantage. I'll begin drawing energy from the stone. Your job, son, pose to defend me. The place is cursed. Trust me. Okay, so we just got to defend him when he starts using the stone. Professor Fizzlethorpe begins tinkering with the goggles before the before the stone. Woo. Help! Get these things off me so I can get my work done. Almost done, just a little longer. Oh, I've done it. I've harvested the power of the stone into the goggles. Let's get out of here. That really wasn't as uh, long or difficult as I was expecting it to be. Phew, glad to be back from that creepy cave. Dr. Drexel Gouge here will give you further instructions, Sunpo. Many thanks for your help. The goggles work perfectly now. Thank you, Sunpo. The treasure has been on the seafloor so long that the gems have calcified into thick stone, but the power harnessed from these goggles will allow you to locate them easily. A little gnomish ingenuity goes a long way. So borrow the goggles of gem hunting, Sunpo, and see if you can collect some of the lost treasure for Captain O'Breen. I turned down there myself, but, um, well, I have important scientific business to tend up to up in the safe dry land. Uh, yeah. Daylight burning. Okay, so are we wearing them? Oh, okay. Right, so we got the one on our head now, apparently. Ah, okay, let's show the helm. There we go, look, <laughs> we're rocking it now. Okay, so we're heading out of the coast. I take it over to those sunken ships. And there we're going to fight some Naga and pick up some elven gems. Elven gems, though, here? Of all places, that's interesting. That's just magical. Mm. 
Right, so our, our swimming speed has been increased for this mission by the looks of it, so let's take this guy down. Can we do water walking? No, that comes in Bashir. I mean, if you think this place looks cool in terms of like underwater aesthetics, you just wait till we get to Bashir because that zone looks absolutely amazing. Like it, 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 this sort of place pales by comparison. I say that, but Bashir is ages away. We still got like loads of levels left. We still got two expansions to get through before we get to Bashir. Oh my god. As we're looking for these gems as well, aren't we? I am out of range. Is not there's one on the mini map. Oh, there's two on the. Ah, uh, okay. So the mini map points them out. I need to get closer. Okay. So we've got one gem. Two gems. It is I do not have enough energy. I need to target something first. We got water breathing as well, so I'm not gonna forget that we need to breathe and we're gonna die in some sort of unfortunate circumstance as well. over there. These runes are quite cool. I've never been here before. This I is really awesome. I need to get closer. I'm going to find a way to shut off that voice thing, by the way. I mean, I, I'm not going to do it now because if we're almost on a bit of a time schedule and it's been a while since um, I've looked at the settings, so it might take me a little bit long to find. I'm not going to do that on the video, but I do want to get rid of that because I keep tapping the buttons, like button mashing them, so that the you need more energy message keeps coming up every single time I press it, and it's definitely not fun to listen to, I can imagine. Okay. That's all the Naga that we need to kill kill, so we're just going to swim around now and see if we can find some more of these gems. And just drop down onto them. There's one right below me. Six. There's number seven. Number eight somewhere in these ruins. There you are. Number nine back in the turtle shell again, by the looks of it. And then number ten a little bit further along. Those fish are huge! Holy shit! Too far away. There you go. Now the, my mount was like the speed for the mount was actually working underwater. That is just one of the most magnificent sights ever, I think. Look at that. We're cruising, we're swimming in style. So yeah, this will be it for today when we turn these quests in. We'll see what else the pirates need us to do. Um, and then we'll head over to Stromgard and we'll finish off Arathi once and for all, hopefully. And then we're going to be able to head into the Hinterlands, which is one of my favourite zones aesthetically anyway. The Wildhammer Dwarves we meet as well, who are a really cool faction of the Dwarves that we're going to be taking a look at. Right, back to the captain and the gnome. We'll start with the gnome first. Sorry, Dr. What's his face? Mm. 
when he appears. Well, that's terrific, isn't it? Okay, the NPC's not loading in. That's, that's not fun, is it? Right, we'll take off the goggles, because we don't need those on anymore. Base 11 appeared. We'll let them rephase in. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, like... Yeah, we'll just try that again. I do like how the water's, like, completely grey, but then you go underneath it and you see this amazing shit. I don't know. That's very irritating, actually. Well, that's an awesome little glitch to end the episode on. Uh, I'll work out what's going on, guys. Uh, and then I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you want me to change anything, then let me know in the comments. Please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to see more of you guys. And remember to comment as well, because I like talking. Okay? Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I will see you next time.